The guy blowing fire in the parking lot. What the hell is this place? Oh, my God. Is she naked? Um. Hey, hey, everybody. My name is Old Man Crunchy. Sometimes a dude could be right. That's good stuff, man. This naked girl get painted in the middle of the bar. I didn't know it was that kind of party. Me neither. First time I've seen it. Never been to a bar like this before in my life. Woo! This is one of the few states where smoking is permitted in bars. A lot of people that smoke don't like when you smoke next to them. Absolutely. And a lot of people who go to smoking bars, you know, don't want to be over surrounded by smoke. Give me a beer. <laughs> Give me a beer. And especially your cook. It's really disgusting. What are you you trying to get me in trouble? Hell, if Joe's up there, he ain't watching the cameras. I don't care. He's going to see it, and I'm going to get in trouble. Well, if it's a styrofoam cup, he'll think it's water. You know, a bar like this in Mississippi is very locally driven. So I wanted to get two people for recon that really know the local market. So I got us Rick and Diana from Radio Memphis. If they like this place, they can fill it, can't they, to push Absolutely. up a button. Hello. How y'all doing tonight? Hey, We've got open seating just wherever y'all want to get to. They can tell right away that new people walked in. Because they're not used to anybody who they haven't seen before coming in there. The beer, please. Uh, you want lime? Should have asked her if she wanted head before you gave her so much. This is one of the worst cooks I've ever seen. Keg just blew. I got you. So they were replacing the keg. What happens when you replace the keg of beer to the first few beers? It's going to be all foam. You really want to check your empty kegs the night before, and then you don't dump them all down the drain. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at that. Wow. So they poured a glass and a half to get a glass? Which obviously won't do wonders for your bottom line. <laughs> You're welcome. You know, I think I want to get the cheddar bacon burger. Medium well. Medium well. Medium well. Uh, the chicken sandwich. Grill, please. Yeah. Grill. Yeah. The manager's sitting down, and the owner's nowhere to be found. When you have an order for a customer, this guy decides that he wants to smoke a cigarette before he starts the order. He's an ass. His attitude is so bad, it's unbelievable. Look at the seasoning method he's doing on this chicken breast. Squirt it with something over the grill, sprinkle something on it. Wow. This food is going to suck. We're going to be uh, making an order to go. Okay. Four bacon cheeseburgers. OK, dressed all the way through. Two medium well, two rare. OK. Oh, so he's about to blow a gasket. He's going to, he might walk out. That's flat. That's what happened here. It's flat. It's missing something. It's like it's been sitting out on this bar all day. What the hell is that, chef? Look at the smoke coming up from that oil. When the fryer's pouring smoke like that, you know that that oil is just deteriorated, cooking slime, just sitting there burning. It's disgusting. Hey, yeah. the beer's kind of flat. OK. Hey, well, let, me, let me swap over to a cocktail of some sort. OK, um, okay so they gave up on their beer. They didn't even try a second round. It's a carry Mary. What's a carry Mary? I put a, a buffet in it. <laughs> <laughs> Olives, pickles, pepperoncinis, bacon. We're going to get to those Bloody Marys. OK. So this is a first. He fries the chips, leaves them in the greasy basket, and he's taking them with covered in grease and putting them around. Two minutes ago, he had a raw chicken breast on that hand. And then he picked up those chips with that same hand. There's raw chicken all over those chips. OK, so here is our famous Buddy Mary. Is that a soda machine in the back of the bar? Not only isn't she not making the cocktail in front of you on the bar, right? Sean, she's not even making it in the same room. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired. Where is it? He didn't see the to-go No, I don't think he even realizes it's there. What the f am I supposed to do on this ticket? Uh, seriously? Four bacon cheddar burgers, two of them rare, two medium well, everything on all of them. Two sides of ranch, two sides of honey mustard, two sides of barbecue sauce, all to go. Or what? Just get me some Viagra and let's get out of here for a couple hours. Well, you can see he's really rising to the occasion. <laughs> 
So she more. used the tongs that fell out of the tongs onto the dirty surface. And she didn't even wipe the surface. Now she has her fingers on the inside of the cups, touching that food. Oh. There's raw chicken all over everything. Yeah, it's disgusting. Whoa, late man, that's like the kitchen sink in there. You're gonna have to give me a beer or something to be back here. The Dirty Red's asking for a drink over there. Order up! Them folks gonna be riding home by this I say to three of us go, when you go back in the kitchen, they can't serve that food. Yep. This might be the worst bar I've ever seen in my life. Okay. When was the last time you washed your hands? Mm, when I went to the restroom. When you went to the restroom? You got a cook in the back who mm -hmm. curses every time he gets an order. Yes, he does. All he wants to do is go home. Doesn't want to cook anything, correct? Yeah. Dirty Ray. How's it going? Who the f are you? Who the f am I? Yeah. I'm going to be the guy who shows you how to run a kitchen properly. So let me ask you a question. How many cigarettes you smoke tonight? Uh, two. Two. How many times you wash your hands tonight? I want you to understand how bad this is. I'm sitting outside watching a cook who doesn't want to cook, and you have raw meat and chicken everywhere that you touched. You then make a Bloody Mary. Her hands are all over everything. So your kitchen is disgusting. Where's the manager in this place? I seen you coming over to this disgusting grill. As Tell me about it. Tell you about it, you're the cook. Who cleans these I can't do everything. I cannot do everything here. What's your name? Michael. And you run this place? Yes, sir. Do your employees, are they required to wash hands? Yes, sir. Did they? Mm, if you're yelling at me, I might have to assume no, sir, they haven't. Do you have a cook who's putting on gloves properly or not? I'd sell gloves on his hands, yes. Well, he's touching raw product with the gloves on. So you don't know what's going on in the kitchen. You don't know what's going on in a bar. How much money are you losing a month? Yeah, four, six thousand. How much more you got before you're out of money? Not much. And I've been watching you back and forth tonight, smoking, asking for drinks, and you're telling me you're too busy to clean the f kitchen? You know this is a straight up lie. Yeah. Go clean your freaking kitchen, and I will come back here tomorrow, and I will teach you how to win, because right now you're just losing. These are straight up excuses. You're right. You know, when someone told me earlier tonight that you want to do a good job here, and you I have do. a want to do a good but job. this attitude, this is And that cook, if he doesn't clean his mess, does he have a job here? Does he? No. Go tell him. Take control of this and then Damn. I will bail you out. Damn! We're just a few miles out of two big Navy bases here. 15,000 sailors. About 30,000 family members. Mm. All the civil service employees that work on the base. This is a big Navy town. That's good. We got a pretty good marketplace. So for recon tonight, I want to get two sailors, <laughs> two guys from the base. I'd love to have them go in there and see what the hell they think. Oh. Yeah. OK, so here come our sailors. Yeah, here we go. There's Liz. She was a manager working underneath Odie. But now that Odie's gone, I don't think this place is running quite as well as it used to when he's there. Is it, is it you're a regular? Oh, yeah, I'm a regular. <laughs> There's Robin. She's a bartender. There's Tivy, another bartender. And there's Miami, bartender and doorman. It's my Friday. Yay. Yay. I love Fridays. So you know why those people there tonight? They got what I call a drink and drown night. 10 bucks at the door, all you can drink. Whatever you want. What? Could you imagine being so desperate that you would do all you can drink on a Saturday night? Yeah, let's see how long it takes them to get a drink here. It's like they're not even there. They're invisible. This is remarkable. Cheers. Let's get to work. Crap. Here. Cheers. Oh, hey. Yeah. Look at these bartenders. They're drinking behind the bar. They're smoking behind the bar. They've probably been smoking behind that bar for 20 years. Absolutely. You know what this bar reminds me of a little bit? When we went to Fairways. Remember that beer you had? Oh, my gosh, man. I do over. Holy 
Dude, I think this might come up right now. I puked right there, right all over the place. <laughs> yeah, go ahead, get started up. You know Give you a big old fat right? tab this week. You know you always oh, do. No. That's not true. It's not a lie. It's not a lie. Okay. It's not a lie. Okay, so the bartender is drinking and not paying for drinks. Krista says that uh, she's going to uh, maybe pay her tab tonight. Okay, maybe. Well, I, maybe. <laughs> what are they doing, Liz? Put it on the layaway plan? Oh, come on. It's not that bad, really. Come on. That tab's going to be paid. You always do, Robin. You know what? <laughs> she called us it's been almost 10 minutes. We haven't even been greeted or asked what we want to drink. What is up with this? They still don't have a drink. Don't you find this remarkable? This is a joke, John. So you know what this is? They take care of their friends. So that old money is going to stay there. They're not going anywhere. Yep. That new money is what you should be attacking right there. Hey, ma'am. Yeah. Uh, can we get a drink? Sure. I've been sitting here for like 10 minutes. Oh, I'm sorry. Can I get a whiskey sour? A whiskey sour? A whiskey sour neat, no Two. ice. Okay. All right, whiskey sour is an easy drink. Yeah. Two ingredients, yep. correct? Let's see what she's doing here. OK, so there's whiskey and sour. You see one straight up there, Phil, without ice? Nope. Now, shouldn't the sour be shaken every time? Yeah, you have citrus in there. You need to shake that. You need to bind the ingredients together. He's just straining it out. And add more sour. Good. Oh! That way you can't taste the whiskey whatsoever. So now, <laughs> to go back and do it. Oopsie. There we go. When somebody asks for no ice, it doesn't mean fill it up with more mix. It just means they don't want any ice in it. Right. They understand that the drink won't necessarily fill the glass. Sure. Oh, man. You have whiskey in yours? <laughs> Look on his face. face. <laughs> we'll get this, yes. In that drink, it had something black in it. Oh, OK. There's just something floating in there. They need to figure out what, what is floating in there and where it's coming from. She said there was something floating in her Sprite. Uh, that's fine. They're just going to make another one and just pretend that it didn't happen? Ugh. What the hell is that? Ooh, I don't know what that is. What are they yelling about? So there's about? two drinks. There's something floating. Now, one was a soft drink from the gun. Yeah. This is not from the gun at all. No. If something's in a soda and his drink, it's probably coming from where they scoop the ice from. So it would contaminate everything. Let's go in and find it. Is it legal to smoke behind a bar? I don't think it's illegal. It is. I didn't know that. Is it legal to give tabs? Is it legal for somebody to sign a tab, not pay for a drink, and leave this building? I don't know that either, because we've been here You don't know that. So you've been here for 30-something years. Yes. It's illegal to have tabs. Did you know that you're about a month from closing? Yes, I do know that. Who's had a black speck in their drink? Anybody have a black speck in your drink? Has anybody said that to you tonight, that there's something in my drink? Yes. Has it happened other times? With people with stuff in their drinks, yes. And what did you do about it, Liz? I just got ice, and I didn't see anything. If you have something in your drink, and you have something in your drink, and you have something in your drink, then there's some bacteria or bugs or something in this place. I want to find out what the hell it is, Phil. Where do you get your ice from is my question. Ice machine back here. OK, let's go, go take a look at that, Come John. On. This is where the ice is made, is in this little block right here. Holy Oh! Oh, my God! Ugh. Oh! I've Look never cleaned the ice machine. You see all that water? Ugh. Oh, my God! That, it's all going down inside of there. If ice is being made right there, John, this is where it lands, right here. Look at this Oh, my God! Oh! Oh, wow. You think your customers, if absolutely. they knew about this, absolutely would they want to be drinking? I don't, want, I don't want to drink out of that. Absolutely not. This is what your guests are drinking right now. Every single time that they're in here, they're drinking this. Come with me. This is what's inside the ice machine. Look at it. Oh, my, oh my God. Oh, I'm done. Oh Here you go, Liz. This is for you. It's gross. Get all the ice out and clean it. Kim, you manage her because she obviously can't manage herself. This place is a hole. So I'm closing your freaking bar. 
No more tabs, no more smoking behind the bar, no more disrespecting our father's legacy. That is over. And when you do your job, I'll come back and save your ass. The cakewalk is over. So for recon tonight, you guys are gonna love this. I have Art Sutley of Bar Business Magazine and his friend Alexa. Art has been in every kind of bar you can imagine. He's tasted every kind of bar food you can imagine writing for his magazine. So I wanted Art to come do recon so that we could get a consumer and insider perspective both Perfect. from his recon visit. Hi, guys. Hi. How you doing? Good. You have a drink menu? We don't have the cocktail menus anymore, but we do have the star shot. That's a specialty? Yeah, that's right, actually well, my specialty. Let's go with it. Interesting name for a cocktail. I haven't seen a cocktail menu. It seems these girls make up a drink, give it a funny name like star and throw it on a board. What they need to do is have a menu where the guests can see the description. They can see what they're getting themselves into. And there's more than one drink to pick. Did you guys want to order any food? What are you guys known for? Our Philly cheesesteaks are really good. And those are actually $5 tonight. Yeah, I'm going to do the Philly. OK. And let me do the, the chicken sandwich fried. Oh, sweet. Like, really sweet. It's like a jolly bacon. Yeah, that's not very good. Chicken salad fries, fine, I don't feel it. So that's Bob. He's your cook. Look at the color of that towel. Oh my god. It's gray. There's a pile to the right. Oh, let me go get another dirty towel from my dirty towel stack. You see that? Ah. Oh, I don't have one. I have a hundred of them. This is disgusting. Okay, that looks like a piece of steak. Is it? Is that what that is? That I don't know what that is. Oh my god, it looks like a brain. It looks like a brain. You know, it does. I'm, you guys know what that is? What is that? That's frozen Philly meat that he's beating the shit out of. To thaw it on the grill. So he sliced it from something. It's still raw. His griddle is not hot enough, by the way. Basically, you're just steaming steam. It's gray. It's not, it's not browning. No, you want Maillard. Maillard is the caramelization that comes yep. from the meats, right? He didn't clean the meat. He didn't take the sinew off the outside. And he just, there's, that guy doesn't give a shit. That's a big old model of I don't care what I'm doing. Look at this, something's going on in the bathroom. Get the fuck out. Sarah, is that how you talk that, to people? That's how I talk to people who are in the bathroom they shouldn't be in. Awkward. Ooh. Who saw my vagina tonight? Oh my God. You're my girl's bathroom. That's against the law. Oh, so they were going at it in the bathroom. That is disgusting. Get the fuck off my property or you're going to jail tonight. Stop. You're being a dick right now. Look at how little respect his customers have for Jim. People are so ridiculous. This girl's such a dumb bitch. Holy moly, John. Look at the size of that chicken sandwich. That thing is the size of my head. Holy crap, that's got to be a pound, if not more. That is ridiculous. Oh. That's big. A sandwich needs to be properly proportioned. Yes. That is a chunk of chicken with bread. Yes. God. I... Everybody looks at it like, how am I going to eat this? You might need to just like chop it in half. Yeah, I'll tell you what. It's... You're losing your ass on that chicken sandwich. I know yep. that needs to be a $25 sandwich. Dude, I can't, I can't even get into this thing. You can't even cut it. She's holding it for him. It's taking two of them, and they still can't cut the damn sandwich. I've never seen this in my life. It doesn't look that great. The chicken sandwich came out super large, almost unmanageable. It just doesn't translate well for good bar food. So I immediately sent it back. Oh, look at that. This is really greasy. Or that's like super, super greasy. Okay. Um, they said this is really greasy and gross. So I don't know if you want to talk to them about it. I'm going to take this. talk to them? I don't know. No way I'm not getting sick from that. How's it going? Don't be a dick. We just sent some food back to the kitchen. The chicken sandwich not really cooked all the way through. The cheesesteak, super greasy. Don't be a dick. What do you want? Do you want a refund on it? Or? Yeah, that would, be, um, that would be great, yeah. All right, can you just refund them on that, Susan? Wow, not even an I'm sorry. So this is a local dive bar. I wanted to get a really good local who knows the market really well. So for recon tonight, I have Johnny Magic. It's a morning DJ from XL 106.7. Nice. This guy is number one morning show in the area. The push of a button, and Johnny can change the destiny of this place. Wow, what kind of bar is this? Yeah, they serve beer and wine, and they have snacks. Oh, here. Oh, thank you. I'm doing well. How about yourself? I'd like a, a light beer. There you go. There you go. I don't, I'm 
Ready? No. Patiently. What is that? It has a weird aftertaste. I didn't like the beer. It was warm, sour, it was skunk. It was pretty bad. I just ordered a light beer. It has like a, a bitter aftertaste. Mm. He's sending it back. I'll just go to a regular light beer. Yeah. Got it. Here you go, man. Thank you, sir. You're very welcome. Sorry I didn't like it. Oh, no worries. Yeah. Item void, customer, did not like, yeah, yeah. idiot. Wow, I wouldn't think that was an owner, man. Yeah, I'm gonna order. If she acknowledges me. I would think they may have more than one bartender. Hello, can I order food, please? Yes, absolutely. Let me have the Philly cheesesteak and pretzel bites. I got you. OK. Hey, Rachel. Yes, sir. Explain to me why we have an order for items that don't exist on the menu anymore. I was not informed that it did not exist on the menu. Really? Take a look at the menu, the printed menu, and tell me what the is on there. Who does this guy think he is talking to people like that, man? We are out of pretzel bites and Philly cheesesteak. OK. That's what I wanted. Poor Johnny. Do you have uh, onion rings? I do have onion rings. Chicken tenders? We have chicken tenders. You guys say, okay, I'll have that. All right. Here we go. Spit it out. Oh, God. That's a great sign when somebody spits out your food. We won't be eating tonight. I ordered two items, they didn't have them, and the food that I did order wasn't done. It wasn't good at all. They can't get the simplest of things, a beer and chicken right, for Christ's sakes. Uh, what? The guy blowing fire in the parking lot? What the hell is this place? Oh, my God, what the hell is it? Is she naked? Um... Thank you, everybody. My name's Old Man Crunchy. Sometimes a dude could be right. That's good stuff, man. This naked girl get painted in the middle of the bar. I didn't know it was that kind of party. Me neither. First time I've seen it. Never been to a bar like this before in my life. Woo! Come on. I'm on it. Norm's on it. So that glass just broke, and within seconds, Norman was there. Yeah. So, I mean, he is on top of what's going on here. Careful, guys. There's glass everywhere. He's got the broom to the floor, and he's a manager. He's a working manager. That's great. We do. Might be a little bit of a delay, just because we're a little backed up in the kitchen right now. They're waiting for some, too? All right. So right now, about 30% of this bar has drinks. Yeah. That sucks. Ring the bell, man. We got to get that out to the table. It was pretty hectic. The bartenders looked like they couldn't concentrate much. I think I waited about 25 minutes before we got our drinks. Are all of our buckets gone? Sure. Of course they are. God, we're a disaster right now. Just isn't coming. I could have told you that. I mean, we're completely short-staffed. Look at that wonderful attitude. No. <laughs> Who the told you that? You did. No. God, really, dude? What's wrong with you? As long as his attitude is like this, he'll never make money. Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't, I didn't know how that worked. There it is. Can we do anything right? What a jerk, man. Look at his attitude towards his staff. When I came in today, you are like, nice boobs, nice butter. No. Yeah. No, I said you look like You should probably go home and change. I would never work for that man. He has this attitude to his staff, to his customers. That attitude's stopping now, guys. I'm going to call him out. I want to be sure with you. I'm not going to start this with you suggesting that any aspect of your failure or what's going on right now is the cause of your employees. Everything so that's wrong is tonight's situation on you. The reason the staff, my entire staff isn't here, is not. You're full of these problems are not on me. You're blaming your failure on other people rather than yourself. That's not going to fly with me. This is real. Either you get that and play straight and real with me, or this is not going to work, and I will let you fail. It starts with you looking at me and owning it and saying, this is my freaking fault. Oh, no. I'm in this, this situation because of me. Fine. Sorry, I couldn't hear that. You want to say it even louder? Oh, he's such a bitch. You have we to need understand to that if you had the loyalty of your employees, they would be here. They didn't show up because of who? They didn't show up because of some. Because of him, correct? Yes, sir. 
the people that we need here right now aren't here. They don't feel they're comfortable here because they think that you are setting them up for failure to be the scapegoat. Mia, right now it's about 10 after 9. And those bartenders just did two shots. A little early to be getting started. Bartenders out here giving away shots. And oh, that's, yeah. Apparently, that's cool. Okay. And what are you doing? Can't beat them, join them, huh? The GM. <laughs> You're not going to drink anymore, please. But Miss Tony, oh, he always so You notice that Tony thinks that James is drinking too much. But he takes another beer and doesn't care. Spoiled and selfish. Cheers, boys. So for recon tonight, I wanted to get somebody who has a good local knowledge. So I got a guy by the name of Barry Rollerson, a country DJ here in the market. I'm Barry in here on a Monday. So he can really give us a relative evaluation compared to other bars. Mm -hmm. We should get the scoop from Barry. Do you have a drink maybe? Or... No, we just have a full bar. They don't have a specialty menu, so they're not selling cocktails. No. Nope. I want an old fashioned. Let me try that. One of those? Yeah. Minute or two, Mike. Is he putting weights on that? That's burgers? the problem, John. The steak weights on a burger. Now, can you imagine how much of that natural flavor from the fat is being leaked out of that burger? So, right in there, you know you're going to have somewhat of a dry burger. Can you give me some to go cups with lids, please? Two f bartenders. Can one of y'all grab one? Can you stop being lazy? I'm not and being lazy. Job. It's not my job to stop it the bar. It is your job. No, when we're busy, it is your job. Don't look that f busy to me. He's just trudging through this. Bingo. She's picking up your slack tonight. Picking up my slack of what? Can he not do dishes? Can he not bring up stuff? Do we need ice? Destiny, I just wish James had our passion. When you see a staff talking to their manager that way, do they respect him? Absolutely not. Not at all. James is not managing this place, so he doesn't look the part, and he doesn't act the part, so he doesn't get the part. In the big bottles, the pour spouts don't fit, so you just kind of guess. Is she pouring from a handle? Oh, that is a big no-no. Bars are designed to fit the 750 milliliter bottles. Can you manage a pour that way? No, there's no way they can be accurate with that. Two, two hours into the shift, you're not going to smoke a cigarette. You're not smoking a cigarette. They're fighting behind the bar. Right? We got this. Go smoke. Go smoke. She just lets James walk all over her. Because it's like this every time I come here. Bitch is angry and old. James, stop talking to your mama like that. Kelly, shut the f no. Look at how James berates his staff. F you. But like you said, the fish stinks from the head. And this is why. So the crab dip tastes like oatmeal. Look at our recon team. Look at how unhappy they look. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, right. I'll tell you what turned me off completely was the still chip. Barry's got his food sitting in front of him. You see him eating any of it? No, he's None. not touching it. Chef, they don't know food. They don't know the technique, the art, the presentation, and definitely not the food cost, looking at the size of the food that they're sending out. The best thing I've had so far has been the beer. James, go over there and see if everything's OK. Mother's here. Mother should take care of it. If that was your restaurant, would you not be eager to talk to that guest? Immediately. He's a millennial. I am not a millennial. I am a generation Y. This is a family that is not very supportive of each other. No. No. Your generation, oh, generation L. L. Yeah. Lazy. Loser and lazy. You're just a generation C. Ooh. I said it. Two yep. short haired old, like, angry women. This is outrageous. This guy can't control this business. He's fighting with his mother. His mother's really telling him to step up. But if he doesn't step up, his family loses a quarter of a million dollars. His parents lose their retirement. I'm going to make him step up. I've seen enough disrespect for tonight. And after watching this bar, I'm guessing it's management that I think is destroying this bar. So for Recon tonight, I wanted to bring in some great musicians. So I brought in American authors. I got actually all four band members to come tonight. Zach, James, Dave, and Matt. We've been going to dive bars forever. We've been a band for 10 years. We literally go out to bars and we'll kind of like play our own pretend bar rescue in our heads. Yeah. So it was really cool to finally be part of it. Oh, OK. Hi. Welcome to the airliner. What can I wet your whistle with today? I don't have a cocktail list. I have a few specials that I can tell you all about. So we have the Miss Mary Jane. It's a regular margarita with our well tequila. I don't know why she told him it was the well tequila. It doesn't make any sense. You can upsell it, but you wouldn't downsell it. No. Can I get it? <laughs> you bet. Yeah. I'm going to try that Miss Mary Jane. You got it. So one, two. Oh, that was a lot. This is like pouring in a lot. Just a couple of dashes of bitters goes a long way. Is this the main stage here? 
This one we do mostly DJs and like smaller bands. We have another stage outside on the patio you're welcome to check out if you'd like. Oh, okay. They have a big back area, it's awesome. Not only is nobody out there, it doesn't seem like they're using that space at all. Wow, pretty good pour, huh? Little short. We just pour more. Oh yeah. Awesome. She took out a bar spoon and she does not know how to use it. I know, the way she's, she's stirring it, though. You can tell she's never done it before. No. <laughs> how is it? Do not order the old bag. <laughs> Definitely wasn't made right. At one point, she rolls yeah. back and then she just pours a bunch more whiskey in there. She keeps going with it. I did not finish that drink. You look like you're about to drink like a, like a poison or something. <laughs> it's like they poured a whole packet of sugar in there. Right. And mix it. So that was horrible. I am pretty Can I order? starving. Cool. How's that cheese steak? No Philly cheese steak. Okay. There's no Philly cheese steak? Dang it. Okay, we'll do the nacho fries and turkey melt. I'm gonna give you guys this. This is your number that he's gonna call. Where do I, do I get up there? You're gonna go right there to that counter. Okay. When he serves it, he's gonna yell for that number and okay. you're gonna go pick okay. up your food right there. Can you like ring a bell? Rather than like screaming out across the bar. Oh What's that sound? Yeah. Fries in the fryer. Those are the fries in the fryer. Yeah. Well, I just see all that bubbling up and I'm just thinking somebody's gonna eat that. You see smoke like that coming out of the oil. That's because of all the debris in the oil, correct? Yes. It'll get to the point where it can just bubble right over. Look at it go! Oh, oh my god. Well, look at that. Oh my gosh. That's the worst we've ever seen, Mike. Yeah. Luckily, he was standing right there. I mean, that's a, a serious fire hazard. How gross is this? He has no gloves on. He's been touching everything in that disgusting kitchen. Now you're touching someone's cold cuts? Yeah. And there's our owner, <laughs> who has no idea that any of this is happening. But well, he looks like a miserable owner. He does. What is this? processed cheese. Okay, so he's taking the cheese, he's added some water to it. Very special recipe going on here. Look at it, it's all lumpy. You're using crap, and then you're watering it down, and you're putting it on more crap, and more crap, and then you're sending it out. Nacho fries! The nacho fries, yeah? Yeah. Thanks, man, appreciate it. I want to see if they're actually going to eat this the way this looks. Yo. That's not real cheese. I mean, honestly, this looks like a joke. When it came out on that styrofoam plate with that gross, fake nacho cheese, and that was greasier than my face back in middle school. <laughs> like, this thing, it was so wild. So there's our owner. Have you seen him do anything tonight other than sit there? So he sat at the end of the bar and just had a drink and didn't do All right, we're going in. Those have to taste awful. The cheese kind of tastes like water. And if I didn't ask them to come into this bar, they'd leave right now, wouldn't they? Absolutely. It's a little weird. There's like a bitter aftertaste. Oh, my god. I can't even look at this. I can't watch this anymore. Somebody's going to get sick. Stop them. We took one bite and we it's couldn't even get no, it. Right. I don't know what it is, man. It, it's like it has a bitter aftertaste. That's not cheese. Nadia. Oh, yes, sir. I'd like you to meet American authors. Hi. Hi. How are Hi, you? guys. How are you? Let me just be honest. Give me a thumbs up or down. Was this food edible or not? No. Wow. We're talking about the food, dude. It shit. was shitty, shitty food. He's gonna grill my ass so hard, dude. I want you all to come with me for a minute. Let's go in the kitchen. I want you guys to see this. Here you come. Oh, my Do I have to come? Lewis. Yes. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Come on in. First of all, look at that fry. What you're about to see will blow you away. Here we go. Look at this, guys. You ever see oil smoke like that? You know why it's doing that? Because it is so contaminated with bacteria and filth. Do you understand how dirty that is? Yeah, yeah. You leave at night and don't clean it. You let him leave at night and don't clean it. I personally have spoken to Lewis about cleaning the kitchen numerous times. And I've been on my hands and knees scrubbing the floor. The floor was like that all the way Really? Across. What about that? I did not finish. So that's like changing a baby's diaper, but not between the cheeks of his ass, because you don't see it? <laughs> Will you eat that food? No, I don't want to eat that food. I don't so want if to you won't eat it, how do you give it to them? My stomach hurts. I feel like I can't believe I just ate this nonsense. But where's the owner? Come on, let's make it a freaking party. What is that? That's a really disgusting oil. Was that disgusting last week? I don't know that. The answer is yes. Yeah. Was that disgusting two weeks ago? Yeah. Yes. 
How about three weeks ago? Was it disgusting then? Yeah, it was pretty bad. And look at this shit. How do you stand here and live with that? Three weeks ago, it wasn't replaced. Why? I've had no money lately. It's been so tight, and that's the only answer that I personally have as a manager. So you don't have the money to do that? Oh. Nadia! John. You're full of shit. There's not one customer in this room. We can't even evaluate this operation. Do you know what? I'm gonna be 10 customers. I'm gonna go in and order the food for 10 people, order the drinks for 10 people. I'm gonna put them to work. Now they're gonna get busy. I'll fire everybody. How can there be nobody here? It is the way now. This is the way now it is. It's the way it is now. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. Push two of these tables together. Come help me. Give me a menu. Give me a server. Okay, here's what's going on. I am now gonna be 10 customers. Okay. Can I interest you in a drink? Can I recommend the strawberry surprise? Sure. I also want to try a root of all evil, a mojito, a tequila sunrise, a fat balls cherry bomb, a jet fuel, that sounds real good, a blue sapphire, a sunset over fat balls, a backseat boogie, and a pineapple island. I want to see how we do. You think they're going to do well? If I had to put my money on it, they probably wouldn't get those drinks right. How come? because they haven't been trained properly. Whose fault is that? I'm all over the place. I can't train them when I'm doing other stuff that also needs to be done. I want to order some food. Order. Let me try Mama's spinach dip and chips. Some onion rings and a quesadilla. Hey man, let's get this thing going, man. I try to wake up, man. Have a Philly steak. Let me have a pulled pork sandwich. Let me have a po' boy. A fat balls burger. A brunch burger, a blue balls burger. Oh boy, that's very appealing. A lot of women are going to order that. And a fire balls burger. And let me have an order of snow crab's legs. Yeah, I go, man. Yeah, I go. We're done. OK, let me see the drinks. Bring them over. Because I'm now the only customer you got, aren't I? I would hope you'd get it right. This is really, really awkward. What is this? That's the sunset over fat bar. How sweet is that? Yeah, it's too sweet. That's the strawberry surprise. Come taste it. Come on, Connie. Is that right, Tony? What about the next one? Is that right? <coughs> that one might be a little better. It's not. It's, it's the, the backseat back. boogie Ugh. or blue sapphire. That drink is nasty right. in general. Yes. Yes. Okay, let's taste this one now. That one's okay. The sex on the beach, right? Okay, let's put it with the good ones. What's this one? What did you say that one was? Bad ball, It's a water. Terrible. Put it with the bad ones. That's a nasty ass drink, anyways. Yeah. What about this one? Oh, awful, right? Put it with the bad ones. What's that one? Mojito mix. We don't have mint. That's your mojito. I can tell by the color it's not right. It's this. Well, I work behind the bar. I mix it in the right way, but this not in the right way. Terrible, right? What this? That's That's terrible. Terrible. This is medicine. Terrible. Put it with the bad ones. Only two of them were decent. Those are awful. Awful. Would you come back for those? No. Do you all. think that might play a part as to why we're empty? Where's the food? Are you guys cooking back there? Got the got egg boy. I got the ball boy. Fat ball burger, blue ball burger. Ten plates of food just got ordered. Three cooks standing there. Something doesn't make sense right here. You got to hold people accountable as well. I mean, I can't check I every single drink. I am. I'm holding you accountable. Out. Yes, you do. But then that would mean I'll micromanage. Then what do you need to do? Because you're losing everything. At what point does it dawn on you that maybe it's you, not them? Manage your business. Is what you're doing working now? It's not. Let's keep going. Let's get everything out here, guys. Will you bring out one plate without the rest? Would you leave everybody else without food? Let's go. Bring it all out at once. We want it all out at once. Come on, it's a table. You don't bring it out one at a time, right? That's why I ordered it at once. I got a minute, man. I got burgers and all that. I ain't rushing. I've been waiting 25 minutes for food. I understand that people wait an hour for food here. Walk out, right? Where's my food? Be patient. No, I'm not patient. I want my freaking food, and I want it right. Go get it when it comes. Who said that? 
What did you say? I said you gotta get your food and it's prepared. You gotta be patient. This is your staff. Let's go in the kitchen. Is that correct? Or is that overcooked? That's definitely overcooked. Definitely overcooked. Okay. What's this? I just cooked those. Is this warm? Yes. Is it at a safe temperature? Definitely. Okay. So now those are gone too. Come on, guys. So this is the chicken that is sitting on ice. Look at this bus box. Feel the bottom of that. Feel it. Are those cold? No. No. So all of this chicken is at a dangerous temperature, so we can't store our food properly. We can't get food out of here properly. You don't have the respect of anybody in a building, and you expect me to help you. How? Tony, you're the epitome of failure because you walk by stuff and you don't do it. You don't clean it yourself. You don't check it yourself, but you expect them to. You're a lazy f Well, what the f am I paying them for? You're the leader! I mean, look at this poor guy. He's cleaning up your mess. Do me a favor, I want him to clean this up. You clean it up. Tony usually is the yeller, he's the streamer. So it was good to see him get it from where we get it from. Hi, this is John Taffer. Click here to subscribe to Paramount Network on YouTube for more Bar Rescue.